Hey, do you remember a couple weeks ago I made that Hot Fuzz Fast Cut tutorial? I got a question asking how I did the transition from the laptop to the talking head footage. So that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. Welcome back to Filmmaker's Formula, where I share everything I learned about filmmaking, helping you become a better visual storyteller. Today we're talking about a laptop transition. I've seen this transition in a couple places. I think the first time I've seen it was in Casey Neistat's vlog, where he zoomed out to add some context to his story. I want to quickly talk about why this is so interesting to me. Normally there's a barrier between the content and the audience. This invisible barrier is known as the fourth wall. Breaking the fourth wall between the stream of content and the editing process is what Casey did. This technique is usually done in movies or television where the actors are engaged in a conversation or plot of their own and the audience is just a mere observer. We so rich. Why we can't afford no seal? <laughs> When brought into the context of YouTube, it becomes a little different. Because on YouTube, you're already talking to the audience. And showing behind the scenes of the camera, basically breaking the storyline, creates a different type of intimacy with the viewer. So if that's what you want to do, this is how you do it. Step 1. You want to determine what scene you want to start out with. You want to film that one first. Step 2. Find out where you want the transition to be. This can be a phone or a laptop, but most likely it's going to be a digital device with a screen. Once you've decided where you want to put the footage, load the video you have from step one onto the device. A good idea before doing this is to know where you want your first scene to end and your second one to begin. Step three is shooting the second scene. A different location will make things more interesting. Align the camera as close as you can to the device you picked out in step two, and then just zoom out and keep talking. Cut these two pieces together in post, and you'll have something that looks like this. This type of effect is quite useful when you want to add additional information that might not normally fit in your storyline. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any more questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you liked that video, don't forget to subscribe. And until the next video, I'll see you later. When I think about the world.